Hello friends. So as per request, I am recording this particular sessions by using our friend camera. So some of my friends requested me to at least for a one video, I'll be want to see you visible. So uh, in this particular session, uh, I am going to cover the automations part of the CI/CD pipeline. So previously, we, we what we see that we have a Jenkins where we have the Maven installed and the Java. We set the environment variables for the Java, and we did the integrations of the uh, Maven with the Jenkins, and we established a CI/CD pipeline with the Tomcat server, where we integrated a Tomcat which is currently running on the uh, different issue to machines, and the, when we run a job manually, it fetching the all our applications code from the GitHub and it uh, it move the artifacts to the, to the jenkins and here you, when you browse a particular page you find your applications uh, running so this is the all things we did uh, previously uh, manually but uh, in this particular sessions we are going to automate uh, our things so whenever we push the changes so this is the particular applications where we have uh, we, we pulled the applications from the git and uh, we are going to do a modific modifications on it so we we just need to um, configure our the jenkins job so that uh, it will um, uh, keep listening the for the incoming uh, modification so whenever there is a modification so we are going to put some uh, do some configurations on the cron job so whenever uh, there is any modification so it will um, uh, understand okay there is some modifications that the developer push some codes to the git and the jenkins job will um, uh, run automatically so we don't have uh, to do anything manually this time and uh, when the jenkins job um, uh, so completed successfully it will move uh, the artifacts to the um, tomcat server where we established uh, our ci cd pipeline so uh, this is the very good uh, sessions for automation prospect because uh, this is the things that most of the industry currently uh, are working on so uh, whenever we have a uh, 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 changes that we uh, push into the our git repository after that the jenkins will build all the test cases and when the applications or there if there is any, any manual uh, uh, authorizations needs to be provided the code needs to be reviewed that will be done by the supervisor that all things looks good so when the, the in the development environment the things looks good the code will move to the staging and after that in the production environment so all the things will be managed uh, by the jenkins so so this this particular um, uh, sessions i have, have the automation in the ci cd where we are using the jenkins for the um, deployment also and for for the building also and for the deployment also so uh, let, let's uh, move further uh, and we will uh, do a modifications on the existing job so we have the job which we previously done uh, manually i'm going to modify it so first uh, you need to click on it so before that uh, we have one server of jenkins and one server of that of the tomcat which running and we integrated tomcat with the jenkins so you already know but one thing that you should know because uh, when we stop our ec2 instance and if the elastic ip is not get attached in that case the ip of public ip will get changed so um, previous in the previous video i have a different ip and i stopped that particular machines both the machines actually so when i started today they both have the different ip so you have to configure the, the jenkins job accordingly so you can see that I did the already um, that part and if you see uh, the URL of the Tomcat you can see find um, there is uh, the IP 13, 235, 74 and 135. So you have the same here. When you click on the you can find the public IP of the Tomcat server is same. So you have to, do, to modify it. Uh, uh, let modify uh, the, the um, uh, Jenkins job for the automation uh, aspects. So um, what you need to modify here, you need to modify, uh, nothing need to be modified, you need to add the poll SCM. So in this poll, in this particular um, function, uh, configurations required a prone job. 
so uh, so that uh, it it will keep on monitoring your git repository so whenever you push a code to the git it will automatically um, do all the things uh, on your behalf so uh, the one prone job that i know in the start is strict a space and strict you have to do it five times and what it means it means that the uh, git will and uh, whenever you push the code the jenkins will monitor monitor your git every minute every hour um, every day every week and every month so uh, this uh, this particular cron job syntax means that it will monitoring your git repository every minutes so when you click it outside uh, here it's uh, message get appear that your git repository that the url that you provided previously this is the url and this is the our uh, github page where we, are, where we have applications and uh, it will it will run it for every minute so this is the message that it's appearing so you have to modify these changes in your previous job that we did in a previous session if you don't didn't refer my previous sessions just uh, have a look one to five um, of the devops uh, miscellaneous topics uh, session so you have a better understanding because we are covering all the things for devops uh, prospect and it's uh, very important that you have the better understanding how the devops automations things works so uh, i am applying these changes okay and saving it okay so it's automatically um, get saved and we don't have to do anything manually so you can see here that uh, our current commit is six and um, uh, we are going to run a git pass so before doing that let me modify uh, our application so uh, you can understand that now um, a developer will go and uh, uh, and change the code so i am just pasting it for your um, uh, understanding i am modifying it and and before that you have to look into the uh, the the tomcat server also that uh, this is the same that uh, same message the welcome uh, to our first devops project and don't forget to subscribe my channel so uh, uh, this is the same message that we have here okay so now i am going to modify it uh, with uh, some message anything that you want to modify in the key in the keep learning so that's it so you have to save it and um, uh, if you di didn't know how to take the clone uh, of the repository from the git uh, so for this you have to write uh, git clone git clone and and the path of the, the, the of, of the git uh, that you have here so you can copy copy it and just paste it but i already did it um, so i'm not going to do it do it because i already cloned um, uh, my uh, repository so uh, now i am going i change the file and i am going to uh, see the status so git uh, status so you can see that there i modified the index file in just now so it's uh, I'm saying that there there is one file that um, is already being modified so i am now going to add it uh, look add it locally so the command is git add and i am putting dot it will contain all the modification of the file or, or you can pass the index.jsp if you have want to push, push your code and there are the changes that has been done in a particular file so uh, you can see that the path uh, it's added in that particular file in uh, locally so now i am going to uh, uh, commit it so commit and the message that i am going to write here the meaningful message you have to write if you have any rpm number csr number any project number that you have to mention here uh, but um, for the demo purpose i am just uh, mentioning here that the modifications has been done in index dot jsp this particular commit is very the message is very important things because in future you can refer by what we changed and for which project the file has been changed so you can see that the, the, the i committed it but i committed it locally and i have to push it so you can see that the currently uh, let's uh, see the commit it's a six number commit now i am going to push it so uh, just you have to write git push nothing else so it will uh, be because the, there is the already um, uh, we take the clone and the, there is a 
uh, a connection established so it's um, push our port and when we refresh the page uh, it, it's uh, saying that the seven commit uh, commit has been done and you can see the changes as well so i'm uh, just moving it uh, very fastly there and you can see that and okay the keep learning message is appearing and now i'm going to jenkins to say, see if, if the job start running or not so you can see that job just started uh, for because uh, we said the cron job which is listening for the, any changes in, in a minute so uh, it's fine that the Jenkins job find um, that there is some uh, modification has been done by the applications developer. So um, uh, it's now started and you can see that the message already get um, that it's uh, uh, hopefully the successful message. Okay, the successful message has been uh, done and if you um, uh, go there, you can find uh, in, the, in, the in the path that previously we have a var file at 72 and now we have 727. So you can uh, now need to browse the Tomcat server. Uh, here it is. Uh, now just refresh the page. So you can see the message get appeared that the, key, the message, uh, the application changes is reflecting and it's um, uh, went fine. So you can see that the, uh, I, we are successfully able to establish the CI/CD pipeline using Jenkins, where we use Jenkins as a um, as a, a build tool, as a deployment tool. Uh, but uh, uh, we, we need to do, uh, we, we want to do some, some extra things that I, I am going to discuss with you uh, further on this particular video. But uh, try to move one more changes uh, that the keep learning and to try to do uh, one more changes here. Let's modify it. Be safe. Okay, so I'm just uh, doing it one more time so that you can understand what is going on. So I'm just uh, doing it very fast. Get status. Git add. Git commit. Git push. Okay, so I'm, I'm not, go, not, not going to see the Jenkins job, what happened, what not happened, because in case of problem, I will monitor it. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to the, our uh, DevOps, uh, the Tomcat uh, page and just trying to refresh it. So I'm keep refreshing this page because I already post my code to the git and hopefully all the things uh, are working fine at the uh, Jenkins uh, site and uh, it will, the artifacts will move to the uh, Tomcat uh, server automatically. So I'm keep refreshing this because uh, uh, previously all the things went fine. So this time also the things will be uh, fine. So I assume let's refresh it several times because it takes at least one minute to uh, build the Jenkins job and move the artifacts to Tomcat server. Um, uh, it's uh, taking time, so we can review the changes, what we did previously, and uh, I think uh, all things will be good. So let's refresh this page, put the dashboard to Tomcat deployment, and you can see that just now it's 7.30. Let me replace this. Okay, the message is appearing. Be safe. So you can see that we did all the things in an automated way. We build a CTCI/CD pipeline using the Jenkins, where Jenkins play a role of the deep, uh, deep, uh, deep building also and deployment also. But uh, now in the further video, you are we are going to use the Ansible playbook. We are not dependent on the um, Tomcat. What our um, scenario will be, we are going to write some Ansible playbook which will create a Docker image for the, from the artifacts and it will move it to the GitHub repository and uh, we invoke um, or build a container uh, or Kubernetes container and the container will have the deployment script definition file and it will uh, fetch the image file from the public repository and it will create a, a, a deploy our application in the pod 
so in that case it can the ansible playbook will keep um, uh, uploading creating the image then uploading it to the um, uh, github which is the public repository and it pre uh, delete it will de also delete the previous images for that particular project because we don't require several images uh, and it, it will also uh, create a new deployment so uh, whenever there is a new deployment the older deployment will be get destroyed because you know that deployment run on the top of the replica set and the replica set a new replica set will get created with the, the with the replica instance how many you have for the deployment and it will create a new replica set and the order uh, older replica set will be get removed you can uh, uh, do the rollback also if you don't know anything about the kubernetes and you can see my video on the kubernetes also where i am i am giving all uh, lots of sessions on the, and, and i also have a video on the deployment so how can we uh, do our deployment access related things so thank you guys for watching this video if you like my video just subscribe to my channel uh, and share it with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that in case um, i upload a new video you will get notified and keep learning and be safe thank you thank you namaste